Rage. Rejuvenate. Feral nature. Horn of fury. All these things John Wick got us thinking. Now, does it mean we gotta change something? Um, I don't know. What till then to find out? Some PvP testing coming up. Few disclaimers as we get started in the background. John Wick is always right. He does a lot of testing, a lot of analytics before he publishes his findings. So yes, there is overraging, but is that an issue? What does it mean for me? So that's exactly what we wanted to test here. So what I want to find out is in few testing scenarios or from few testing scenarios, how much does it impact me? Is it one of those situations where, say, Greenland is the biggest island in the world and Australia isn't because it's a continent? Is it one of those where it's a cool story, bro? Or is it one of those where I have to do something about it? So the first thing that I wanted to test is whether I should use the Horn of Fury on my trine or not. Now, the scenario that we have chosen for that is where my trine is getting bashed by three of M's marches and the reason why we chose that scenario is if you think about the rage situation you need to be attacked by quite a few marches and then you have to have three points in rejuvenate and then you have to have Hornum fury and then you have to have trine because all of those things contributes to how much rage you generate now what we are trying to find out is is that a bad thing now on purpose, we chose a situation where it's a losing battle for us because when you're losing a battle, you do get more rage as well. And that's where the three marches come in as well so that we can get more rage. So what we did just then is I got M to hit my trine, the max trine with three points in rejuvenate and everything, get hit by three of M's marches three times, and then we got some numbers out of it. Now, the second time, what we're doing is we took off the Horn of Fury and we put in a dagger. Why did we put on the dagger? Because if I'm not using Horn of Fury, I must be using something. It's not like I'm going to send out my trine naked in the field. So what we want to get out of this is after the three battles are done, on average, how much troops does or how many troops does M have left in which scenario if i if m has less troops remaining when i had the horn then that tells me that i should be using the horn now if m has less troop remaining when i'm using the dagger then that tells me that i should not be using the horn now i know that we are not using more marches on my side and if i did the findings will be highlighted even more now, I have done some calculation using the reports in the background and I can tell you that when I was using the horn, M has less troops remaining. Only by a little bit though, but that's enough for me to know that yes, I will be using the horn. Now, moving on the, to the next topic, which is Guan. Are we going to use feral nature on Guan or not? Now, this is a good point, better than the question about whether to use the three points on rejuvenate or not. Because the three points on rejuvenate, in most cases, you don't have a better option to put those points in or put that one point in. But when it comes to feral nature, you are talking about 10 points and there are some other good options where you can put those points, especially if it's 10 points. So what we're doing is we're again doing the same thing where with a small amount of marches, we are fighting M's troops. Now, in this case, I'm actually showing when I win. Now, the reason why I'm going with when I win is because when you're winning, you benefit from some of the other points. So one of the points that we are using in the talent tree for Guan at this stage is where you do more damage whilst you stay more than 90% in your health. Now, if that's the case, then you're benefiting quite a bit. Now, I'm only showing this testing. I'm actually not showing the one where I lost to M and how does it look like in a losing situation. And the reason behind that is 
on a personal level, I did quite a bit of testing with Feral Nature before. This is before I had the YouTube channel. This is before we even talked about rage as an issue. This is around the time when we were talking about whether to use latent power or not, which is about a year or year and a half ago. Now, at that stage, the findings told us we should almost never be using latent power because it doesn't add a lot of value. And in terms of feral nature, it depends on how impactful the first skill is and what other talent tree do you have for that commander. So say, for example, for infantry, if I'm using a Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu doesn't have an alternative place where I can put those 10 points from rather than putting them on feral nature. However, if we are talking about Guan, there is an alternative where you can put those talent points in, which is Buckler's Shield and the other one, I forgot the name, the one that gives you 10 per, uh, the one that gives you 9% more damage if you are over 90% of health. So that's what I'm showing you in the background. So regardless of the conclusion, before even we get to the conclusion, does this test actually mean that you should have feral nature or not? Not really. I'm just showing you a scenario where you can benefit from without having feral nature. Now, the findings is not surprising to me because I have seen this before. Without feral nature, the guan actually does better because you have a chance of putting those points somewhere else. Now, the question is, does that mean I'm going to take my feral nature off my guan? Well, let's wait till the end to find out whether that's a better solution for us or not. Now, the second thing that we are going to try in this video, well, the third thing is try some PvP. Now, I, I'm not a whale and I don't have enough resources or speed ups to actually do a 5v5 many times to see what the outcome is. So alternative to me was trying out few things in Sunset Canyon. Just like the open field 1v1 PvP testing, what we're doing in Sunset is I'm putting the Horn of Fury on Trine a few times, I'm putting the Dagger on Trine a few times, and then with Guan, I am changing the talent tree every now and then, and sometimes trying with the Feral Nature, and sometimes type trying without the Feral Nature. Now, this the opponent that I'm fighting with in Sunset Canyon, this is someone that obviously I took permission from before. I'm not just hitting someone 10 times with, without um, having any courtesy or anything. And he's one of those opponents uh, or friends, I should say, um, because it's in our kingdom, where he actually has a better team than mine, I think power wise because all his commanders are max and I often win, I often lose. So what I wanted to see is whether the outcomes of the testing or, or the testing itself sways the result in a certain way. Is there a setting where I'm doing better? Now, as you can see the battles in the background at a fast pace, the reason why I kept it fast pace is otherwise it gets really long. Um, the main thing that I got out of it, I think some of you can guess what it is. Well, the answer is there's no clear outcome. So I can predict that if we are talking about 10 commanders, a lot of them having different randomness. And nowadays the equipments have randomness as well. When I say randomness, the 10% chance, 5% chance, whatever it is. So when it's a big fight, there are so many variables that I don't think you can get a solid outcome if you're talking about a group fight from testing that I mean. Now, Sunset is not a reflection of Canyon or Arc, but then end of the day, it does reflect the randomness that comes with it. So there was no situation where I could say that I clearly did better with Feral Nature or without Feral Nature. I couldn't clearly say that I did better with the Horn or without the Horn. Now, if that's the case, I think you would like to know what type of conclusion I'm heading towards. Hear me out on this. Some people put all their money in the bank account. They believe it's safe and you have a consistent return over time. Then you have the risk takers who, who want their money to work harder for them and they would invest in something like shares where there's a chance of getting a lot more but sometimes there's a chance of losing out as well. To me, Feral Nature is one of them but Horn of Fury isn't. Horn of Fury is clearly the better choice for me when it comes to equipment for someone like Triumph. 
Feral nature, slightly different. If you have a place where you can put those points where it makes more sense, such as archer commanders, you can do that. When it comes to infantry and cavalry, you are mostly better off going with the feral nature still, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Not necessarily that's the right situation for everyone, but let us know what you're going to do in the comments.